Welcome to the 100% Shiny Rock Pokemon hunting locations in the Teal Mask DLC. If you're looking for any specific Pokemon, make sure to check out the timestamps down below. If you're looking for a certain Pokemon type, check out the playlist for the Teal Mask for any of the typings. And if you're looking for Shiny Pokemon in Paldea, make sure to check out that playlist as well. For the Rock Sandwich, we're just going to use one Jalapeno and two Salty Herba Mysticas. Feel free to use any sandwich of your choice and please write it down in the comments below. Everyone who writes these sandwich recipes are extremely helpful and uh, people do like those comments so let us know you know you did it right when you have sparkling power rock and encounter power rock at level three now most of the rock pokemon in this video are going to be easy to see except this little guy over here so make sure you have the double home zoom in technique for that and in order to do that just go to your home page go down to your settings go all the way down to system and from system you're going to find the zoom option once you have that just turn that on and you should be able to double tap your home to be able to zoom in and see any single pokemon all right let's get hunting the pokemon we're to be hunting is going to be Rockruff. Now, Rockruff is in Paldea, but you know, we're in Kitakami and it'll show up that you actually caught it in Kitakami. So what you want to do is pretty much from right over here from Kitakami Hall, you can go ahead and drop down all the way over here. And since Rockruff is a little more common, we have a good spawning area right about in this area that you can open up a picnic and you can kind of see the amounts of Rockruff that are spawning here. Look at the amount we have over here. There is quite a bit and you can even peek behind you to make sure there isn't any and all you gotta do is just open up your picnic here and you can just reset picnics over and over again and you can get like a good amount of rock roughs back and forth so you can just hang out over here do this and then you'll get your rock rough spawning right over in front of you It'll take a second there you go three four five then you get a whole group over there i noticed the more left corner you go over here the faster they spawn so uh, if you want to keep that in mind i noticed that is a trick to spawn certain pokemon you got to find that right corner run your character into it you'll get a whole group uh do the picnic again get out the picnic just like this and then if they spawn slow here we go here's the corner we run into and then you can see all of them start to spawn pretty quick over there so yeah this is a pretty good rock rough spot they are overall roaming around the map in various locations but i really do think a picnic reset might be the best play for this one over here if not you're not into hunting this mon here well paldea is a great spot for it and it's evolved forms all you gotta do is look for that blue dog and in my rock video for paldea i do show you how to get the dust form lichen rock in the wild so keep that in mind. There is a very easy way and uh, good luck hunting your rock rough. The next spot that we're going to be going to is going to be for the evolution of Bonsley Pseudo Wudo. This is going to be located all the way up at the Gracious Stones area. And as you can see, the only Pokemon that spawns out here is Pseudo Wudo. And of course, the shiny is going to be really obvious for this Pokemon and they will just all run away from you and despawn out. So it's like easy shiny hunting as they see you and they're just they're gone. That's it. They're they're adios. They're gone. And all you got to do is just keep going around until you find yourself a shiny one. Or you can picnic reset when you have a good amount in your area and reset the spawns. Now, something cool I just wanted to point out about the Gracious Stones is that if you go towards the body of water right over here, besides focusing on the Pseudo Wudos over here, you also run into a little bit of a Dreadnought situation, uh, which is pretty nice to have because you get a good amount over here in the water as it spawns with the Rock Sandwich. And pretty much you just need to stand over here and do some picnic resets or or you can despawn these out completely, walk back to all the pseudo woodos, and then come back over here and see what spawns exactly. Um, so let me know if you like this dreadnought spot a little bit better. I think picnic resetting and having two hunts at the same time might be a lot more fun for people if you don't have these shinies. So I just wanted to point this out so you all are aware of this area to hunt in the Gracious Stone. All right, good luck hunting these two Pokemon out here. If you want shiny luck like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can, you know, catch a shiny. So if you want to get yourself a nose pass, you're gonna have to come all the way up to the Paradise Barrens. Now, something interesting about the Barrens is that Geodudes and also you get Pseudo Wudos spawning in this area. And what you really primarily want to do is stick to the more rocky areas. So if you happen to see some patches of grass, avoid going to the grass. I think that's the safest bet. Now, it's going to be easy to identify the shiny because, well, it's going to be a gold shiny or yellow. Uh, So yeah, yellow, yellow rock is all you got to look for. Look how many spawn on here. You could either do a picnic reset or you can just despawn an entire group out this place is big enough but like i said just avoid going on grassy areas to not deal with any pseudowoodles i notice i get the best spawns over here so if you want to really get the best spawns once you get to this paradise barons uh fast travel come out here and just spend your time right in this area and if you do happen to get the shiny here you can then evolve it into your own personal mr potato head which is going to look fantastic and it's going to gain the steel typing so good luck getting this pokemon i believe in all of you 
you who are hunting uh, and you should be able to get one. Yeah, no problem. It's an easy one to identify. All right, good luck. The next location we're going to be heading to is going to be the Fellhorn area right over here. Now, something really cool about this location is that there is a water type Pokemon that we're going to hunt. That's going to be a lot easier here because it's the only one that spawns here, which is awesome. So this is going to be your Dreadnaw location and you can see how many Dreadnaws are spawning in this area. There's literally nothing else besides Dreadnaws that you see everywhere around here. Now, sometimes I get a little lag. I noticed that and um, you guys might be able to find a pretty good spot in order to picnic camp maybe and reset all these spawns. So that's pretty much what you can do when you're out here. This is the shiny that you're going to be looking for. It's going to be obvious and very different as it's green. These were also in the Paudea area if you were to run around by the lake in the Paudea spot. But honestly, I see a lot of solo spawns here. It's better to me than getting a choodle, but I know you guys might want a choodle. That's totally up to you what you want to decide. If you go on to the grass areas, you will get rock roughs that do spawn here. So don't worry about that. But yeah, this looks like a good picnic recent area. So maybe exactly in this spot where I am right on a beach. All right. So good luck hunting your shiny dreadnought in this area. You'll probably be able to get quite a few of them here with your shiny sandwich. So if you want to solo hunt Bonsleys that evolve eventually into a pseudo wudo, you need to head over to the Kitakami Hall at the top part over here. Now, this is cool because this is a nice little town spawn. It'll show up as Oni Mountain and you will see a bunch of Bonsleys all the way in the field. Now, if there is a shiny one, it's going to be very obvious because it looks like this and this is what its evolution looks. Like. Now, the double home zoom in feature is going to be handy because look what is hiding in the grass. Nice and obvious is going to be the Bonsley right over here. It just appeared and it is a town spawn. So there it is. Woo! There we go, baby. Got myself another Bonsley. Even though they do exist in the base game, this is literally a solo Bonsley spot. So it's so nice to get one of these. Another location for getting a Bonsley will be to teleport all the way to the Infernal Pass and then come down over here. So you're not going up that mountain, but rather you're facing down over here. And you can see that you get a good amount of a Bonzi that spawn over here. This is a great spot to simply do a picnic reset, make them all go away. And as soon as your Pokemon come out, just smash that Y button and boom, you'll get your Bonsleys to start spawning all over the area again. So make sure you're just turning around and looking out for that Johnny Bonsley in this location. But this is a great picnic reset in case, you know, you don't want to do the town reset method. But of course, town reset method is going to be the better one if you want it to get done faster. And it's just going to be that simple for you to get your shiny. Seriously, it's just in and out. So good luck getting one of these if you haven't already and evolving it into pseudo wudo the next pokemon we're going to be hunting is going to be geodude because it's also not just a ground type but it's also a rock type and all you have to do is head over to the infernal pass and there will be tons of geodudes everywhere uh the best strategy for geodudes as usual is just run up and down to despawn a bunch of them obviously not too fast because of solo spawns or get in a really good location where you can see a bunch of them at the exact same time and you can do picnic resets uh, this is pretty much how i ended up getting my my golden geodude it looks pretty sick then it's going to evolve into graveler and after that it's going to evolve into golem via trading so just keep that in mind uh, when you are hunting this so this is another sandwich that you can go ahead and catch a geodude with all right so good luck hunting down your shiny the next pokemon that we're going to be hunting is going to be glamette and to hunt glamette you're going to have to head over towards the crystal pool which is going to be a great spot now glamette is a poison and a rock type but when you have the poison sandwich coughing's kind of take over more than they do. So that's why the best hunt for this is going to be with the rock sandwich. Of course, this is in the base game, so I wouldn't be surprised if you guys watched my video and caught one of these in Area Zero. But if you haven't, you can spend your time out here. Area Zero gets kind of boring uh, being in the cave and it feels good to, to be outside to get it. Now, Glamette Shiny is going to look like this while its evolution, Glamora, is going to look like this. So you know exactly what you're looking for when you're hunting for the Glamette. Now, it's not only going to be up here around this area, which you're probably just going to have to slowly circle around. Make sure you're looking because sometimes the spawns are hard to see and you don't really want to miss that shiny. So really don't go too fast. Just kind of crawl slowly around the area. Make sure you're zoomed out. You're kind of pulling a 360. If something does look like a little bit of an off color, zoom in to make sure it's not any sunlight and then head towards your shiny. That's pretty much how you can do it up here. But there is another location and we're going to go into the cave to do this. And this is weird because it's kind of a segue into another Pokemon and 
and then a dual hunt. So, so when you jump in this cave, just be a little careful. So you're going to have one thing over here. You're going to find another layer and then you're going to find this little path as you jump down and you're going to head right towards there. When you enter into here, you're going to find a room filled with carbon. So this Pokemon is also going to spawn with the rock sandwich. It also spawned with the berry sandwich, but this is another spot or another Pokemon you can hunt with it. So when you're in this room, the best scenario that you want to do is find a good spot to make a picnic. They'll all despawn. So just like that, throw it out. And don't worry, I'm not done with the Glamette. This is kind of like a, a mix of a dual hunt. And when you do the picnic and, and back up a little bit like this, you're going to get groups of Harbing spawning in the area. And this is what the shiny that you're going to be looking for. It's going to be more of a black colored rock with the blue. It's going to be very obvious. Here's the one that I caught in this cave. You can see that. So you just need to keep doing that over here in order to get yourselves a shiny carbon. So it shouldn't be too hard. Just find a nice spot in the ground, drop your sandwich, throw a picnic up and then back away. Let them all spawn in and you do get a bunch of clusters of them spawning. Anyway, we need to proceed further down in this cave because we are handling the rock sandwich. So now we're going to go to somewhere known as the duo hunt for Glumet and for Carbig. So on this next layer, as we drop down, you can see some Glumet over here. This is not really a hot shiny hunting spot. We're going to go further down and drop all the way towards the water. So here we go. Keep following me. Boom. We splash in the water and then we want to head all the way down further this way towards this spot over here. Now, you don't want to drop down this area, but what you want to do is as soon as you hit this area, you're going to see all these spawns over here start to come in a little bit more aggressively over there. And you can see some spawn above, some spawn on the floor, and you'll get a couple of Glumet. Now, sometimes you will get a Carbink spawning. And my strategy here is to send my Pokemon out just to beat them all up. Why? Back up a little bit. So it turns into slightly of an auto battle while they do spawn in. Now, Carbinks do sometimes spawn in with it. I do think this is more of a Glumet hunt, but it's a pretty relaxing one where you can just get up, walk away and come back. And there you go. There's your Carbink that spawns. So that's why I call this spot a little bit of a dual hunt. So let me know what you're doing in this area. If your Pokemon somehow just stops functioning, just go ahead and reset back up and let's just take out other Pokemon while you back up and other things spawn. All right. So enjoy this little AFK hunting spot. I hope this helps. I'm sure so you guys will come up with a more optimal way of where to stand exactly the precise crack on the floor. Uh, so good luck with this hunt. I'm sure you guys will enjoy doing a nice AFK hunt here for this. Now that you got all your shiny rock Pokemon in Kitakami, you should check out this video over here.